What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. We have currently two tropical waves that are currently out in the Atlantic. Both have chance to development. The eastern uh, part in the Atlantic, in the one, the eastern Atlantic, rather, excuse me, has now has a 10% 10 10 chance of development in the next uh, 48 hours. Let's go ahead and read this. A tropical wave has moved off the west coast of Africa and is producing a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Environmental conditions could support some slow development of the system through the early next week while it moves westward across the eastern and central uh, tropical Atlantic at 15 to 20 miles per hour. That's likely because there's some wind shear that's starting to invade uh, from the Canary Islands. So, yeah, it's going to take some time to develop. But if it, if it does develop, it'll develop probably more towards the central part of the Atlantic. And then this is the Caribbean, the one that just crossed into the Caribbean. We have the satellite right here. The tropical wave just crossed into the Caribbean Sea right here. It just uh, produced a, a lot of rain for a lot of the Windward Islands right here. So... Yeah, it's moving into very favorable conditions for development. If this storm can organize and the convection continues to improve as it's been, we'll have a lot more to talk about. But for now, this is what we're at right now. We still have a 20% chance of development. A well-defined tropical wave is moving across the Windward Islands while producing disorganized showers and thunderstorm activity, although it has been getting a little bit more organized in the past few hours. The system is expected to move westward at about 15 miles per hour during the next several days. Environmental conditions could be more conducive for some slow development as it moves towards the central and western Caribbean Sea early next week. So that's an that's an interesting t uh, turn right there. So we'll stuff to pay attention. And the Caribbean at this time is very, very, very favorable uh, for development right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if those numbers go, uh, go up depending on how quickly this thing can organize. But with that being said, if we take a look at the global sea temperatures right here for the Caribbean Sea, this is 28 plus degrees uh, uh, Celsius right here, or about 83 plus degrees Fahrenheit throughout the entire Caribbean. And if we take a look at the wind shear, there is absolutely nothing getting in, the, in this thing's way. The only thing that could really get in its way is the dry air. But if we take a look at the if we take a look at the thing right here, um, relative humi relative humidity, there is yeah there is a little bit of dry air, but it is expected to start clearing out as time continues to go on. There's expected to be a very moist a more moist air invasion right there. So yeah, there is a little bit of dry air getting in its way, but it should be uh, cleared out in the next couple of days. So we're gonna have to continue to monitor the situation as time continues to go on. We'll get back to this mall run in just a second, but yeah, if we're taking a look, once again, uh, we're looking at very favorable conditions. The conditions are going to pr likely improve in the next two days. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing those chances go up in the next a little, a few, a couple of days. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS mo uh, model right here. This is a very important run once again because the models have been once again doubling down on this whole hurricane situation right here, except it's at a different location. And I have to give this disclaimer every time because people don't seem to understand the freaking comments section that this is uh, several days out and things are subject to change. So, yeah, and another thing, this is why I always put disclaimers in the description as well. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. So, here we are. We're about, let's go ahead and go out to about four days out where we have a potential system developing right here. This thing is slow to develop at first, and it moves once again through Jamaica into towards Cuba, makes landfall either as a strong tropical storm or weak hurricane on the western tip of Cuba, and then it moves into the Gulf. And then things start really ramping up right here. It starts really rapidly intensifying. And this is interesting too because this run has it making landfall in Texas, uh, presumably in between Houston and Corpus Christi, which is an interesting run to talk about because the last several runs we've had, uh, we've had hurricanes making landfall in South Carolina, Louisiana, Florida. We're gonna have to wait and see with the next mile run to see if that continues to uh, to confirm uh, that, but. Yeah, anywhere on the Gulf Coast uh, in, of the United States, all the way up to South Carolina, needs to monitor uh, this area of interest we're looking at right here. And then this moves up, it moves it into the plains, and it eventually dissipates right there. And we have this other wave that's, star that's starting to develop right here. Uh, we have another tropical wave coming uh, coming off right here. It starts to intensify into a Cat 1 hurricane, stays very to the east uh, right here. The Azores are probably going to get impacted maybe by the outer bands of this thing. So not the Azores, excuse me, the uh, the Cabo Verde Islands, my apologies, but yeah, so that's basically what we're looking at right here. So yeah, this and this, we continue 16 days out. 
So yeah, the hurricane season's been quite slow so far, but what I'm looking at, we're, I have a feeling we're going to see a few more storms develop as t in the next couple of weeks. And once again, these next couple of weeks are critical because if, we do, if we're seeing the same results as always, we're likely seeing a below average hurricane season. But if things start ramping up in the next week or two, then we're probably going to see more of a average to above average hurricane season right there. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps to make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather but with that being said have a wonderful day be sure to hit the subscribe button my next documentary is coming out on saturday at 2 p.m please sure be sure to do not miss it but with that being said stay safe